And coming to you live, this is Lock and Load. This portion of the show is brought to you by Aero Precision. For over 25 years, Aero Precision has paved the way as a leading manufacturer of American-made AR parts. Aero Precision caters to the rifle builder by engineering quality receivers, hand guards, and other essential parts. Aero Precision's added enhancements create a smooth build process from start to finish for beginners and seasoned builders. Whether this is your first rifle or your 50th, Aero Precision offers everything you need to make a quality AR at an affordable price. Check them out at aeroprecisionusa.com. Let's talk about the St. Louis couple, the McCluskeys. They're the ones in the video at the very nice house referred to as the Palazzo style house, which indeed it is. They're the ones that were brandishing weapons at what is being termed as protesters. <laughs> After they, now everybody's saying, well, they didn't break the gate. No, they just walked through the gate. What are the odds that, you know, was the gate broke before they walked up? Yeah, and, you know, anyway, I digress. They're being investigated by local law enforcement. Now, the video that we have seen was taken by, you know, the protesters. So um, the, the McCluskeys did not take video of themselves because their hands were full of guns at the time. They are Mark and Patricia. They're the homeowners seen in the now viral vid video. And they're being investigated by the St. Louis Police Department and the city's circuit attorney, Kimberly Gardner, or Garter, excuse me, in the wake of Sunday night's confrontation. Garter announced that in a statement. Coming from Fox News, she said, I was alarmed. The events that occurred over the weekend were peaceful protesters were met by guns and a violent assault. We must protect the right to peacefully protest, and any attempt to chill it through intimidation or threat of deadly force will not be tolerated. Well, I hate to tell you this. Uh, what's your name again, Garter? What's your first name? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Kimberly. Well, Kimberly, listen to me. Um, you know, uh, there's other parts to this, but here, here, here's the main thing. There is a trend going on right now in the United States. I don't know if you've seen this, a rioting trend, a looting trend, a vandalizing trend, a arson trend, and in certain cases, in certain localities, a murder trend. This didn't just start the day they decided to go and hit your mayor's house. Because that's where they were going, right? They were going to the mayor's house. Now, their attorney, his name is Albert Watkins, and he saw the, the clash with the protesters differently, as do I. He said, under, uh, let's see, under the Missouri Castle Doctrine, a person has the right and has the absolute unmitigated right to protect his or her castle or family while on their property. And in this particular fact situation, you have individuals who are acting on private property, trespassing as lawbreakers onto private property, damaging and destroying private property and acting in a threatening and hostile fashion, such as to give rise to what any human being would consider to be placing them in a position of abject horror and certainly in a position of feeling in fear of imminent harm. Now, apparently there was something, the, the McCluskeys were in the house initially before the video starts, and they did not arm themselves until... Uh, they breached so they came onto private property in a and I, listen listen snowflakes listen listen to me girl real good on this one okay um in a gated community there are no public sidewalks there are no public streets they belong to the community the community is an island an island in the middle of all the chaos and uh, that's what that was so when they were on the sidewalk they were still on private property um i'm almost certain uh, that's what they're told anyway when they're buying a house it must cost four or five million dollars. Mr. Watkins <laughs> insisted his clients did not arm themselves until they entered the private property. He said they didn't sit on their front stoop with guns. No firearms were on them at the time that they were as property owners standing in front of their home. 
It was not until they were basically were in a position of seeing and observing violence, recklessness, and lawbreaking and knowing that the police were not going to be doing anything. Well, we've seen that quite a bit, haven't we? Defund the police. We've demoralized them. I mean, they're not going to calls. They wouldn't have gone to this call. I don't know what it's like in St. Louis. Definitely, it's a good thing this wasn't in Atlanta, I guess, huh? Watkins also slammed the decision and said if she had read the McCloskey's police report from the incident, she would recognize the pure folly of her suggestion that she was going to evaluate the case for criminal charges. Mr. Watkins said, if Kimberly Gardner wants to press charges against two attorneys who are protecting their home and their family and themselves on their own property, I will tell you that it will be nothing short of the proverbial cluster bleep. Mark McCluskey, 63, was, uh, I saw him interviewed by Chris Cuomo. He sort of took Cuomo apart at the seams, but you know what? Everybody takes him apart at the seams because he's free to. Now, the protesters, on the other hand, these were a different sort of group. They, 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 some of them were wearing body armor. Uh, one person pulled out a couple of loaded pistol magazines and sort of smacked them together in front of uh, looking at Mr. McCluskey and said, you're next. <laughs> and listen, in order to pull a gun, you have to be in imminent threat or feel in imminent threat of bodily harm or death. I don't know what it is like in St. Louis. Here in South Carolina, if I point a gun at somebody, that's a felony. So I have to be in a certain set of circumstances. And if somebody's out there and they're telling me, the other thing they uh, he said they were threatened uh, with their lives being burned down, um, Mr. McCluskey was told, I'm going to kill you, your wife, and your dog and burn your house down. Okay, well, with this, with the track record these people have set up across the nation, when they tell you what they're going to do, right, you probably should believe them. Now, the crowd got angry when Mr. McCluskey told them to leave their property, but Daniel Schuler, a photojournalist who said he witnessed the encounter, described in an interview how the situa situation went to another level when McCluskey grabbed the gun. Now, McCluskey's called the St. Louis Police Department shortly before 7.30 p.m., they told arriving officers they heard a commotion and observed a large group of subjects forcefully break an iron gate marked with no trespassing and private street. Now, I know that people think signs don't mean anything. And that sign was as good as any gun-free zone sign, apparently, and I'm sure the McCluskeys understand that. Now, the video, which the video shows them walking through the gate. Now, I don't know if it shows... There's certain people say that it, were dam it was damaged at that time, and then others are saying it was not damaged. I haven't seen it, so I don't know. Once through the gate, the victims advised the group that they were on the private street and trespassing and told them to leave. The group began yelling obscenities and threats to harm both victims. When the victims observed multiple subjects who were armed, they then armed themselves and contacted police. Now, based on the couple's account, police called the incident a case of trespassing and assault by intimidation against the protesters, <laughs> which makes them, by the way, not protesters. A protest is where you got a sign going, you know, no justice, no peace, black lives matter, let the brothers go, whatever it is, that's a protest. You don't show up to a protest in body armor, at least maybe in Venez if you're not in Venezuela or Russia or, you know, one of these nice Central American countries where really bad things happen. Watkins had previously said the protest was largely peaceful and the pair did not bring their guns outside until two men in particular, both of whom were white, started menacing them. The couple was hesitant to come forward with their story out of fear they would disparage the, important of black, the importance of Black Lives Matter, which I don't see how you're going to disparage that. Everybody knows... People's lives are important. I know that. Nobody has to tell me. This was self-defense, plain and simple. That's all it was. Nothing to see here, but we'll see what comes of this case. We'll be right back. This is Lock and Load. <laughs> 